Hey guys, Clay here from Badger Secure and Survival, and today we have an updated GHB. This time, we're doing mine. Let's do this. All right, so I've already taken everything out. You kind of saw how big it was in the intro. So what's on the front here is a first aid kit. It's got your basic stuff in it, a little bit of a measuring tape here, some gauze. And this is not just nasal de decongestion. This is Benadryl, Zyrtec, Ibuprofen, Aleve, basically all of your pill stuff that I kind of got at the dollar store and stuffed in here. And then I have your standard Israeli bandages, uh, tourniquets, and quick clot, as well as some compression bandaging as well. So obviously you have to follow your own state's laws. Here in North Dakota, we have constitutional carry. So even if you don't have a permit, if you've been living here for a year and you have a North Dakota driver's license, you're good to carry in your own vehicle, as excluding obviously like the same things like schools, bars, so on and so forth county buildings, state buildings, federal buildings, all that same stuff. So I keep a Sig 1911 22 in here, 22 cal. I, I don't really need any more than that for the way home. It's a last resort. It's a 60 grain 22 that I have in it. It's Agula Super Sniper, 60 grains at 950 feet per second. So it's not super loud to me when I'm shooting it, but it's also got a little, little bit of punch behind it. About 100, 100 or so feet of paracord. Some uh, trimming shears here. Your stand standard nasty, disgusting MRE. Good thing about it is that I don't have to worry about fire or anything like that if I wanted a warm meal. Say it's winter, it's obviously not winter now anymore. But if it was winter and I didn't want to start a fire or I didn't have the ability to uh, because of surroundings giving away my position, anything like that, I would still be able to heat up my food and actually have a warm meal if I needed to stay for more than a night. Just a basic framing hammer. So I have prying, chopping, and hammering. Holster for the 1911-22. 120 pound zip ties, just a couple of them. I don't remember how many I put in here, five. Never know when they'll come in handy or what, you, what you'll need them for. Standard emergency blanket. You could use it for signaling if you really needed to, but mostly I could use it for shelter. Uh, cleaning kit sewing kit in case anything rips on my backpack or clothing inside the sewing kit i have a spare knife so no matter what i know i'll have an extra even if i lose my my pocket knife two extra mags and a single mag holster for the 1911 22. a uh, biofuel it's not really good for cooking but if you needed just a little bit of heat for your hands or something like that it works really well for the winter Inside this little Maxpedition, I have my foot powder, super glue, chapstick, hand sanitizer, a spare Bic lighter, as well as a uh, patch repair for my bag here. And then your standard poncho, which also can be used for shelter in terms of used as a tarp or obviously as a poncho. So that's basically what's in it. And I do shift things between winter and spring and summer. Uh, this is probably going to leave here soon for a lighter, a smaller, a smaller pa packaged. This is rated down to, it says limit nine degrees Celsius, comfort 15 degrees Celsius, but it's, it would be too hot in weather like we have today. So if anything, I would just use this Mylar as a blanket if I had to go for right now. All right, guys, so there you have it. When I was putting everything back in, I realized that I had added this. This is something we built ourselves. So that's why it has our little emblem on it here. Basically, it's just one of those typical ones you see. It's got our, just like a survival card, a little bit of a saw on it, some measurement tools and some uh, your standard hexes, carabiner, little fishing kit, some PJBs and some jute twine. 
some water purification tabs, and a ferro rod and striker. So it's not, it's not anything super special, but it's really easy to put together and all of the things in it are actually fairly useful. So, sorry I missed that in the original video, but things got a lot of pouches. So, if you have a GHB that you think is better, make sure you let us know in the comments below. Share what you put in yours that I don't put in mine and might be useful. Also keep in mind, well, when we say GHB, we mean get home bag and it's used in conjunction with your EDC, your everyday carry. There are people that consider them one and the same and I do not. Personally, I consider EDC something that's in my pockets or on me at all times. So everyday carry. A lot of people consider what they keep in their vehicle as part of EDC, but I do not. Mostly because I ride motorcycle a lot and I have a very small, I can't put this on my motorcycle, so it stays in my vehicle for winter. But make sure you check out our YouTube, Facebook, and next, until next time, make yourself ready.